Hey guys, Igor here. I'm back with another video. I was on Twitter last night and I saw that Procreate had posted an interesting little teaser for their upcoming update. So let's take a closer look at that video and see if we can find out what it is that they're actually going to be rolling out. So this is the 10 second video. As you can see here, they only flash some of the features for a very short amount of time. But I want to take a look at it again in slow motion and we can talk about what it is that they're showcasing. So the first shot that we see is a person using the Apple Pencil, but their other hand is resting on a keyboard, which suggests that Procreate will now support keyboard pairing, having the ability to access shortcuts with a couple of keys, switch tools on the fly means an increased workflow. So that's really exciting. So looking closely at the next scene, you see that a person is merging two existing layers together. But what stands out to me is the layer below that, the background layer. If you look at the little preview window, it doesn't look like it's an image. It looks like it's a collection of other layers, which indicates that it's most likely a folder. You can also further tell that it might be a folder according to the little tiny arrow on the right side near the white box, which again to me tells me that if you tap on it, it'll expand that list. I'm super excited for this feature. I've wanted it for a really long time. It's really easy to have your layers tab be absolutely crowded when working on a much more difficult or much more complex piece. Now, another thing that I do want to mention is if you look up top right above the merging layers, you have the glow layer and the background of that has some sort of checkered look, which to me also suggests that there's a form of clipping mask that is finally introduced into Procreate. And if that is true, that's awesome. I use those all the time for Photoshop and I feel like that's a very very important feature that if it is added to Procreate will make it that much better as an artist tool and it'll put it on the right track to becoming a much more professional everyday use tool as well. Again looking closely if you pay attention to the animation of the merging layers the brushes layer that this person was merging is actually being applied to the little preview window within that foreground layer, which tells me that the foreground layer was actually a folder with other layers within it. So that's what the animation is going to look like when you're trying to apply a single layer to a folder. Really cool stuff. And finally we have the last scene which features a new icon along the top left toolbar. It's a camera. In the next image, right after the camera icon, is a countdown timer, but if you look below that, it says prepare to go live, which indicates that, yeah, you can probably stream your drawings uh, via Procreate. Maybe they'll have some sort of Procreate TV on their site. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to tie this in. I don't really know if this feature is for me, but why not? You know, it's pretty good for those people that don't want a huge setup, who want to record some of their work, I'm sure. You know, a bunch of people are going to be posting amazing things shortly after this is released. So these are the three big features of the next update. And the video ends on this note. If you can't already tell, I'm really excited for the next update. I think having clipping masks and folders is going to make complex drawings that much easier on Procreate. Uh, the addition of a keyboard, I might have to get a Bluetooth keyboard and maybe I'll do a review on that too. And another thing that I did want to mention that's sort of off topic. I ended up purchasing a new case for my iPad recently and I thought it was really cool. Look, it's got a pencil holder. I think it was like 12 bucks on Amazon or something. I'm not sure what it's called. Poetic, according to the back here. Um, it's kind of like a rubbery surface. It's, I wanted a more of a hard plastic just so I would feel like my iPad is more safe. But it does add a little bit of weight and it does make it feel more rigid so I'm happy with that. So you guys can check that out when it's on my stand. There's this little hole up top that you can just rest your pencil in and if you're watching a video or something you know grab that and keep drawing so that's pretty cool the pencil you just slot back into place so now I can take my iPad with me I don't have to worry about losing my pencil somewhere whenever I like visit my sisters or something so that's been an issue in the past not losing it but being afraid to lose it so anyways guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos I'm working on an animation video right now hopefully that'll come out you know in the next day or two and uh, stay beautiful.